I'm gonna buy every stock ChatGPT tells me to for 30 days. I'll be taking you through the entire process from wrestling with ChatGPT to buying and selling stocks to battling back from a terrible first week. And at the end of this video, I'll show you exactly how much money I made. The first thing to figure out when using AI for investing or for any other purpose is the prompt. What are you going to ask the AI to do? Prompt engineering has become a huge business since ChatGPT was launched, but you don't need to be an engineer to write a good prompt. I've been experimenting with a number of different prompts to see what consistently gets me a good answer. And here's the one I've decided to go with. Pretend you're a hedge fund manager and you can only buy one stock right now. You need to maximize your returns in 24 hours. You can use up-to-date market info from the internet to make your choice. Which stock would you buy? Not bad. Now that I've sorted out the prompt, here's how these 30 days are going to go. Every day, just before the market opens, I'm going to ask ChatGPT which stock I should buy, and then I'm going to buy it. 24 hours later, I'll sell that stock and ask ChatGPT again and buy the new one it recommends. Simple enough, right? Let's do it. ChatGPT, pretend you're a hedge fund manager and you can only buy one stock right now. You need to maximize your returns in 24 hours. You can use up-to-date market info from the internet to make your choice. Which stock would you buy? Interesting. So I'm using ChatGPT Plus here because I needed to have up-to-date information in order to make these picks. And what it does is it starts scouring the web for information that will help it make a smart pick. Here's what it says today. ChatGPT suggests that I buy Upwork, which is not what I expected. It also gives a few reasons for its choice, like Upwork's strong track record of growth and the fact that it's trading at a discount relative to its peers. Cool. I'm in. I'm buying $1,000 worth of Upwork, which gets me 125 shares. And just like that, the challenge has begun. I wonder how this is going to go. Today is day two, and I have to admit, I was watching Upwork all day yesterday. It moved a little bit, but not much, and it was down 0.9% on the day, so I lost $9. Not off to a great start. Now for my next pick, help me out, ChatGPT. Today, ChatGPT is suggesting I buy Booking Holdings which is the parent company of Priceline, Agoda, and Booking.com. I've never considered buying Booking in my life, but ChatGPT makes a pretty strong case for it. So let's do it, purchase confirmed. I hope I have better luck today. All right, so it's day eight now, and my first week of trades are in the books. I've made five trades so far since the markets are closed on the weekends, and only one of those trades have been profitable. I lost money on Upwork, Meta, Delta Airlines, and Google, and only made a couple of dollars on Booking.com on day two. I'm down $28 in total, and I'm feeling a little pessimistic about what ChatGPT can do here. I've also been running into some other problems with ChatGPT. The first is that sometimes ChatGPT responds to me with a stock pick, but other times it just says something irrelevant or tells me it can't pick stocks at all. Normally I can get around this by regenerating the response or opening a new chat window, but it's still kind of annoying. The second problem I've been running into is repetition. ChatGPT has suggested the same couple of stocks multiple times, so I've decided to ask it for a different stock if I've already purchased the one it suggests first. It's no fun if I just end up buying Apple for 30 days straight, so this should spice things up a bit. But the biggest problem is that ChatGPT just isn't picking good stocks. I've lost money on four out of five days, and I even managed to lose money on Meta, which is one of the hottest stocks of the entire year. Of course, I can't really expect an AI to predict the future, but it still sucks to lose money. I'm really relying on ChatGPT to step up its game here, or I'm never gonna end this challenge at a profit. It's day 15, and I'm halfway through the challenge. I just wanted to share a few observations that I've made about the way ChatGPT has been picking stocks. First, ChatGPT tends to suggest stocks that have performed well over the previous 24 hours, generally due to positive news about the company. For example, on day 11, it suggested I buy Tesla because it was trending up after teasing new vehicle models at its annual shareholder meeting. Hype isn't necessarily a good reason to buy a stock, but it's good to know that recent performance is influencing ChatGPT's decisions. ChatGPT also loves to recommend stocks from industries that are in the spotlight. It's consistently been suggesting tech companies at the forefront of innovation, especially those involved in AI. This tells me that ChatGPT is influenced by current trends and emerging sectors, which can be a good thing or a bad thing depending on whether you're a value or growth investor. Of course, the stocks that ChatGPT picks are going to be different based on how you prompt it. Just compare the different picks it gives me based on these three different prompts. When I ask ChatGPT for a stock that will maximize its returns over the next 24 hours, it suggests Home Depot. When I ask it for a stock that'll maximize returns over the next week, it suggests Palantir. And when I ask it to recommend a stock that'll maximize returns over the next year, it suggests Tesla. 
This makes sense because different time horizons impact different stocks in different ways. But it also highlights a fundamental truth of AI and life more broadly. The answers you receive are only as good as the questions you're willing to ask. If you want to get better answers, you need to start asking better questions. And then this happened. Oh my God, I cannot believe this. How did it know? Okay, so this is crazy. Yesterday was a normal day, and I asked ChatGPT for a stock pick just like I have every other day of this challenge. The stock it told me to buy was NVIDIA. And if you're not familiar with NVIDIA, they make the GPU chips that are the brains behind some of the world's most powerful computers, from gaming rigs to supercomputers. NVIDIA's GPUs are also the driving force behind the AI revolution, and they power many of today's top AI companies, including ChatGPT itself. All things considered, this seemed like a pretty standard stock pick for ChatGPT. It's been suggesting a lot of tech stocks over the past couple of weeks, so I bought NVIDIA without any expectations expectations. But now, brace yourself for this. When I check the price of Nvidia today, it's up more than 30% in the past 24 hours. The stock absolutely exploded in after hours trading yesterday. And when I dig into the news, it turns out that Nvidia stunned investors with higher than expected earnings in its quarterly earnings call yesterday. Now, here's the crazy part. Let me show you exactly why ChatGPT recommended Nvidia yesterday. So the very first thing that it says here is that Nvidia is releasing its first quarter earnings earnings today, and some analysts believe it will beat its earnings target of $6.5 billion for the quarter. If it does, its stock price may rise. Then it gives a bunch of other reasons why Nvidia is a good stock. But not only did ChatGPT recognize that Nvidia was having its earnings call yesterday, it also went so far as to show why Wall Street was undervaluing the company. And it predicted exactly what would happen. Nvidia outperformed on its earnings call and the stock exploded. So let's put all this into perspective. I bought Nvidia at $302 just before the market opened yesterday, and I just sold it right now for $396. That is insane, and it puts me in a much better position for the rest of this challenge. So let's keep going and see what ChatGPT does next. All right, it's day 31 and the end of the challenge. I just sold my last stock right now, so it's time for the results. Here are all the stocks I bought over the past 30 days. There are 21 of them because I didn't trade on weekends and holidays when the markets are closed. As you can see, 10 out of the 21 trades are profitable, which means I made money on just under half of my trades. My Nvidia trade made me $311, which was huge, but Nvidia wasn't my only big winner. ChatGPT also suggested I buy Coinbase just yesterday, which seemed like a super risky bet. The SEC had just charged Coinbase with operating illegally in the United States, and its stock was down 25% from the previous day. But ChatGPT knew about the lawsuit, assessed the scope of the damage, and suggested I buy the stock just as it was at its lowest point. It gained 12% over the next 24 hours, and it made a $158 on the trade. Now, here's the number you've been waiting for. Over the past 30 days, I made $473. That's a 47.3% return on my money, which is insane. A 47.3% monthly return means your money doubles every two months, which is absolutely crazy and way better than any hedge fund. If I were able to maintain these same returns, my $1,000 would grow to $104,000 after just one year, which is bananas. I have to be honest though, I really thought I was gonna lose most of my money in this challenge, which is why I only put $1,000 on the line. But now that I see how well ChatGPT performed, I don't think AI stock picking is such a bad idea. But here's something else crazy. Without Nvidia and Coinbase, I would have only made $3 over the entire 30 days, which is not good at all. But I think this captures the essence of what AI can do so perfectly. A lot of the time, it's not gonna do anything special, but once in a while, AI will surprise you in ways you never expected. There's a line from Michael Lewis's book, Flash Boys, that stuck with me over the years. When something becomes obvious to you, you immediately think, surely someone else is doing this. But that's not always the case. Sometimes you are ahead of the curve. Sometimes you do have an edge. So what should you do if you wanna replicate my success? First, make sure you're using a trading platform that doesn't charge trading commissions. I would have been eaten alive if I was paying commissions on all these trades, so I've left links to some zero commission platforms below so you can sign up. Those links will also get you sign up bonuses anywhere from 50 to $100 or more. So even if you only plan on trading a little bit, it's worth signing up and claiming those bonuses. The platform that I use for my trades in this video is Capital, which is available in most countries around the world, but not in the US and Canada. So I've left specific links for Americans and Canadians below as well. 
well. Second, prepare yourself for volatility. The stock market can be unpredictable, and even with the help of AI, there will be ups and downs. Halfway into this challenge, I still hadn't made any money, and I felt like giving up. But it was right then that the Nvidia trade happened, and my trajectory completely changed. And third, make sure you're using the right prompt. Good prompts are the key to getting good results from ChatGPT. The prompt that I used here got the job done, but I actually tested five other prompts over these 30 days, so I could compare the results of all six of them at the end. And the crazy thing is, one of those five actually led to a 62% return over these 30 days, which is absolutely wild. So if you want to get access to all of those prompts, including the one that gave me a 62% return, enter your email below and I'll send them to you right away. But before you run off and start building your ChatGPT investing empire, I'm going through another challenge as we speak, and I'm really excited to share the results of that one. So if you want to see me put more money on the line with an even weirder investing strategy, watch this video here and I'll see you there.